Hi, um, how are you? I'm Pratt, I'm pretty nervous, so if I stutter a lot, sorry. Um, so I just wanted to say that I really loved your character, Lucifer, on Supernatural, but uh, my question is actually about Lost, Jacob. And um, I was just wondering how it was playing Jacob and how it compares to playing Lucifer on Supernatural. You know, I was playing them at the same time. Yeah, um, I would I would work on Lost, then fly to Vancouver to work on Supernatural, and fly back to Hawaii to work on Lost, um, which is interesting. I actually, you know, I, I love working on the show. I love working with all the people. I know everybody fucking says that. And so, you know, after a while, you got to think bullshit. <laughs> Somebody has to be an asshole on the show, but there really, was, there really wasn't. They were humble and, and sweet and, and really. Uh, embraced me, <clears throat> so it was really fun. But I found myself, being the contrarian that I am, listening to the man in black during scenes going, man, eh, there's nothing wrong with what you're saying, bud. Nothing wrong at all. In fact, I like what you're saying. Leave the island. Explore the world. Know, grow, become better. Isn't that, I, so I was, I was sort of the, J Jacob sort of was who was supposed to be God, I guess, right? So something like that. Became a symbol for sacrifice. I hate that word. I hate it. You know what sacrifice means? What does sacrifice mean? Giving up something of greater value for something of lesser value. How fucked is that? That's supposed to be good? That's moral? Look what he did to those poor people. What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> but I think people got a great deal out of it. I think the overall message of, if this was the overall message that we sort of lift one another up and help each other through our paths in life, in life, was essentially very good. I think it was, it was beautiful, right? I mean, I cried at the end. It was the only episode I watched. <laughs> Were you? Me and my sister, we watched it together because our parents loved it. So they're like, hey, when, the, when, when you're older, watch the show and you're sobbing by the end of it. When that dog laid down next to Jack, I just lost it. Yeah. Any dog in any, in any frame of any film, I lose it. Yeah. Okay, the stupidest movie I have ever cried in was Scooby-Doo. <laughs> First of all, all romantic movies I cry like a baby. But Scooby-Doo, there was one moment <laughs> I literally lost it. <laughs> I'm sitting there with my wife, my stepson, my stepdaughter, and I lose it. You should have seen the expression on my stepdaughter's face. She's like, because I lost it out loud, like notebook out loud, like, <laughs> like that. Like embarrassing. And it was the it was the time. It was when, when Scooby-Doo said to Shaggy, I love you, Raggy. <laughs> I thought it was like my dog Frankie saying it to me and I just lost it. I fell apart. I'm not afraid of that, guys. I'm not afraid of the tears. <laughs>